All right, uh, I mean, went on the road, got two wins. Uh, just walk us through the weekend uh, yeah, through your eyes. Started out in Odessa, uh, Texas Birmingham Basin. Um, good game for us early on. Um, for us, it was kind of a game of runs. Went on an early run, gave them a little momentum. Went on another big run right before halftime. And um, really, everyone stepped up and gave us some great minutes. Um, Abby Spurgeon, Deanna Parker, our bigs, doing a great job of finishing in the paint. Um, and I think uh, Braylon Tyler had a good game. Rebounding, double-double for her, uh, 12 rebounds, I think that game as well. Her and Tiana played really well. So obviously points to the paint have been big for us. And uh, if you know Texas Permian Mason, they press you the entire game. So I thought we did a good job of moving the ball, finding, finding our shooters and then getting it in the paint when we did. And then we moved on to Western New Mexico pretty quickly um, on Saturday, which I always say is a tough place to play. I don't know why. It just is, maybe the elevation, maybe just a different environment there. But um, got on them kind of early, and uh, they're a scrappy, gritty team. Um, just a tough team to really put away. We knew that they kind of had a no-quit mentality. Um, and I thought we played well. We made some adjustments at halftime. Again, what I keep looking at, um, at is we have a lot of sophomores out there that are learning how to win, learning how to play the game, and they're getting better every single game. And, uh, and, and we have some great takeaways from this how much do you have to grow up coming into a Thursday, Saturday like this? This is a huge week. Um, we have to play well. I don't know how much you can grow up that quickly, but it's it, we've been growing, um, and and these girls will be ready for this weekend. We've had a lot of tough battles already. Um, we've been tested from all the way from our California games all the way through here. Um, even just going into LSC and winning road games is, is big. So. Um, it, it's it's going to be a big week for us and two of the top teams in our conference. Two teams that have really good size in the paint. Um, Angela State, uh, Dee Moore, she's tough. Uh, she's tough for any team to defend and we're going to do everything we can to, to uh, try to defend her and then Maddie Chitsy for LCU. And we know LCU, very disciplined team. They don't beat themselves. Um, so we're going to have to play really well this weekend. Defense has kind of been your forte this year. You feel that's helpful coming into the weekend? I hope so. Yeah, um, yeah I hope so. Uh, we changed up our defenses a little bit uh, throughout games um, just to hopefully keep teams uncomfortable. Um, but we're going to have to stay after it. We're going to go against two teams that not only have that inside presence but guards that can really score well from the perimeter. So um, we'll be tested this weekend. We'll be stretched all over the court defensively and, uh, and we're going to have to shoot the ball well. So you talk about growth. So what are some things that you've seen your players grow over your, your win streak? There's just this execution. Um, for me, it's a little bit more offensively than defensively, but it's both. Um, relax, being poised out there, knowing where you need to be on the defensive end. Some of it's just communication. Um, when you got, I looked out the other night and we had five sophomores out there playing at one time. Um, can they play junior, senior-esque out there and communicate well? Can they run the offense together, be on the same page? Um, and those are the steps that we're taking. Um, are they relaxed? Are we sped up? So that's things that we're looking for. So when we get moments like this week that we should have a great crowd, um, good opportunity to play in front of a lot of fans that we've been there before, we've seen it, we've done it, um, and hopefully playing beyond our years a little bit. This past weekend would maybe a good example. It seems like it's, it's not the same person with the same two people that you guys are scoring all the time. It's like you've had, well, Abby's been pretty good lately inside Tiana, a contributor, but it seems like Every, there's at least one new person stepped up every game. And that's, I guess that's been great about Lexi. Is that maybe the one thing you kind of count on your own point this week? You know, so you know someone's going to be able to get that as double digits for you. I hope so. That's kind of our identity right now. Um, you know, we don't have a Lexi Hightower 18 points a night uh, rolling into the gym for us right now. It's uh, we need everybody to step up, and it takes everybody. We've been saying that the last probably two months um, since we started our season. Um, but what we've been doing a good job of moving the basketball. Uh, moving it well, putting it on the floor, finding open shooters, um, getting it to our post players. So um, when you can move that basketball and you can get it into the right hands, um, and I think that starts with your point guard, Megan Gamble. She's done a yeah. tremendous job of pushing the tempo for us um, and then getting us into our offense. So when you have that, um, you can do some special things.